What's up, LTD addicts? Dave Swift here, and today we're talking about WP Scheduled Posts. This is a tool that takes your WordPress posts and evenly distributes them throughout the week. It can even link up to Facebook or Twitter so that you're kind of doing a little bit of social media management right from WordPress. Now, this is a cool concept, but it solves a problem that I personally never have. In fact, my problem is never having enough content to be able to post regularly. It's always a struggle to get that next one together, but maybe you're not like me. Maybe you're different. So I'm going to approach this with an open mind and let's head over to the AppSumo page and see what the offering is. Now, this one starts off at 39 bucks, which I think is a very fair and reasonable price for any WordPress plugin. You're going to get five sites for that $39. Uh, you can stack that. Uh, another code will get you 10 sites and a third code. Uh, so $117 will bring you up to unlimited. You can see the features here are the exact same. You're just adding in the additional sites. So the features are a schedule calendar, and we'll look at that in this video. We also have the auto post schedule, the manual post scheduler, the missed post handler. <laughs> uh, these are funny names. Uh, then we have that social sharing on Twitter and Facebook, as I mentioned. So overall, this is a pretty simple plugin. I think you're going to understand what it does in no time. I've already got it installed over on my demo site at demo.clientamp.com. If we head down to the bottom of the screen here, you'll see I've already got scheduled posts installed. And this is the general settings page. Now, you're probably not going to need to touch this page very much if you've got a pretty straight ahead WordPress setup. But there are some settings worth noting. Uh, this first one here is to turn off the widget in the dashboard. So if I go over the dashboard, I've got a pretty plain vanilla dashboard, nothing going on. You can see there is a scheduled post uh, widget right up here at the top. This is the scheduled post widget. Now let's head back in. I can turn that off if I just toggle that switch. No big deal. The next two are a little confusing. So let me just clarify what they are. It says show selected posts in site-wide admin bar. So that's this up here, right? If I have a bunch of scheduled posts, I can see at a glance what posts are coming up next. If I want to turn that off, I can turn it off right here and it won't show up site-wide, meaning if I'm, say, looking at a page on my website well logged into administrator mode, I won't see this, but I will see it on the back end. So really, they could have made this more clear by saying this is a toggle for the front end and then this is a toggle for the back end because this is show selected posts in admin bar in general. So, um, you know, a little bit of confusion here why we need two settings for that. Not the end of the world, but I I wanted to point out that uh, it just seems a little bit uh, redundant. All right, so the next section here are what posts you want to use this plugin with. By default, you're going to be using it with the general, you know, WordPress post, but we can also create custom post types. So you might have like on the That LTD Life website, we have a custom post type called reviews. Maybe I want to schedule out my reviews, then I would add that right here under the settings. The categories, whether I want to display the categories or not, that is important to note. And we can also set this up so other users can administer it. Uh, so by default, it's just set to be administers, but maybe you have editors, people who are writing articles on your WordPress website, you'd allow them to schedule posts as well. So this kind of, you know, if you are doing a, say a news type of website, maybe a tech blog, something like that, where you have several people contributing articles, mm -hmm. then a plugin like this starts to make sense for a solopreneur or maybe a you know local business owner who you're struggling to get two or three posts out a month, you know they're, you're not going to find a lot of value in WP Schedule posts. But for those news sites, I can definitely see the value. So you have a constant drip of articles coming out. All right, the main settings you're going to want to set up are right over here where it says manage schedule. Now, you have the option between doing the auto scheduler and the manual scheduler. Let me just break down what the difference is here. The auto scheduler is just going to post sometime during the days that you say. So here I have it doing it every day and twice on Sunday. So if I wanted to set up a very specific time like I release articles every Monday at 7 a.m. I'd actually turn off this auto scheduler and go over to the manual schedule, manual scheduler where I'm able to set a precise time for the article to come out. We also have this activate miss schedule and that's saying that if WordPress has a hiccup for whatever reason and your post doesn't go out on time, basically by checking that box, then WP schedule posts will go ahead and post it at the soonest point it can. So it's kind of a, a backup plan. You know, things happen with websites, so um, that might not be a bad idea if you go with the manual schedule option. Although with the auto scheduler, it wouldn't really be an issue because it would just post at the next instance. So uh, you can also down here, if you're doing the auto uh, scheduler, say that I only want to post articles, um, you know, while people are awake. So maybe you do it from 
9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something like that. You can set that up uh, just by setting the, the time range right here. All right, so those are your settings. The next page is all about integration. So that's hooking up with Twitter and Facebook. You have to go through their APIs to do that. So it's a little bit of an involved process um, in terms of they do have a step-by-step -step direction on how to get your API keys. And then with Facebook, you have to actually create an app inside of Facebook uh, Business Manager. So it, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but it's, it's certainly bearable and they give you uh, some nice directions on how to do it. So I'm not going to walk through that in this video, but if anyone has questions, link down below or ask them down below and I'll, I'll definitely help you out. Uh, then we have our social templates. This is what the posts will look like once they go out onto the social platform. So basically, it's not going to post your whole article, right? Because most of these platforms don't allow that much content, especially Twitter. Uh, so instead, we're going to have the article uh, title, uh, maybe a blurb of the content right here, uh, the URL to get it, and then any tag. Now, the cool part is it can actually use the category as tags. So you could start trying to rethink how you're categorizing your content uh, based on uh, you know, the, the, cat the tags that you want to promote on different social platforms. There is an option to actually just tag the posts too, and I'll show you that in a second. We also include the post thumbnail on Twitter. Over on Facebook, very, very similar, except we have the Facebook metadata that we can turn on. And then there's also the uh, content type, whether you're gonna do it as a link or as a status. Uh, and then add the category as tags here as well. And we have that same kind of format for our article. All right, so that is how the social integrations work. Uh, let's head over to an actual post so you can get an idea of what the UI looks like there. All right, so you can see here, I've got three test posts. I'm gonna go ahead and open one up. And if you're a regular WordPress user, you'll probably know over here, this is where we kind of set our scheduled time. And you might be thinking, well, why do I need a dedicated app for this? This feature is already built into WordPress. Well, what WP Schedule Post does is kind of rewrite that section of WordPress. I, I like it actually. I could see this being really useful for a uh, publication that's like like a news publication or um, you know regular bloggers, as I mentioned before. So rather than have the the post time just show up as immediately going out, I've got my scheduled options down here where I could check a box, and now it'll automatically go out at based on the schedule that I set up in the settings. Those times will show up down here as available. If I don't check this and I just go ahead up here and hit schedule, I'll be able to choose the time from this as well. And down here, I can also add those tags that I mentioned before. Uh, if I click on this, I get a nice little calendar where I can choose the exact date and time that I want the post to go out. Now, that is one way of doing it, but if you have dozens of posts that you need to schedule out over the next month, going into each one individually could be a little bit tedious. So instead, uh, WP Schedule Post actually added their own calendar option. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this without saving. Here is what the calendar looks like. This is pretty cool. I can see all of my unscheduled posts over here and then I can just literally drag them to the day that I want to post it. So let's say I want this one to go out on the 5th and I want this one to go out on the 14th and this one to go out on the 18th. Boom, they're all scheduled uh, based on the times that I set available. Now you can see here it shows to schedule each one of those posts for 12 a.m. If I wanted to edit that from there, there is an edit button. I can click that and it'll actually just pop me open into the post editor so that I could refresh Find, refine the time a little bit. All right, so it's time for my final thoughts. WP Schedule Post is a thoughtful and useful plugin for a specific niche. Now, for me, with the way AppSumo has been publishing LTDs lately, maybe I do need to think about using a plugin like this, but from the most part, and most people are not going to be publishing content that frequently. So if it fits your use case, this is a really solid plugin. It's fast. It doesn't add any bloat to the back end of WordPress. And if you don't like seeing those extra menus, they built in the option to turn them off. So overall, I think it's a really, really solid plugin. It's just not gonna fit everyone's use cases very much. That said, it works. It does what it says as advertised. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 8.7 out of 10. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button. If you wanna go ahead and grab your own copy of WP Schedule Post, the link is down in the description. That is our referral link and helps us keep the lights on here at That LTD Life. Now, if you are ready for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, head over to our website, thatltd.life. We have a huge index of all of the upcoming deals and you will not want to miss it. We've got sorting available so you can find all of the deals that are most important to you. And that's gonna do it. Head over to the Facebook page. Let's chat about LTDs. I'll see you in the next review.